What's up, heroes? I'm a rising hero, and welcome back to Terraria. Now, guys, okay. I got some stuff to talk about before we get into the thickness or the whatever. I don't. I feel like that was the worst word I could have picked. Uh, uh, I don't know. The, 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 the meat potatoes, I'll just say that instead of, of this episode, pretty much. So, um, I know I have new weapons. I will explain all of that. Um, so, uh, let me go downstairs. That's... This is how I will be able to show you guys everything. Okay. Well, first of all, one big thing that I did do is that pretty much I just went on a server helping a friend of mine, a uh, Steam friend, and uh, pretty much thanks to that, I got a lot of just natural drops and loot there. So it's all some of these are in the chest, and a lot of this is from this world as well. So number one thing that I got, well, at least that I built was the flamethrower. I did not show that the other episode. I apologize. Um, I could just show it off, I guess. I'm not going to really use it. That's pretty much the flamethrower. Um, it's, it's good, but I think for us right now, it is really what we want. So, or at least what we really want to use. Um, so I have the bee cloak. The bee cloak pretty much is made of a star cloak. And the honey beehive we got a while back, a long time ago. Uh, pretty much just drop for mimics and again I got a second star veil or star um star cloak and I made this one so I don't know which one I should use they're both really good um I put this away in here as well you guys already know about that um frost staff that dropped in this world and I killed something in the um I killed a merman I believe or a, a fish these those ice merman in the frost biome and he dropped this, and it was great. It's a good weapon, but there's a reason why I'm not using it anymore. Um, I got this in the underworld, um, in the other in the other server, pretty much. And um, I got runeware. I got this by killing a runic something. I forgot what it's called. It's a stupidly rare mob. And pretty much, we went when you wear his stuff. Um, let me show you guys. What happens when you wear his full set? That happens. Oh my god, we gotta wear this. Okay, that looks so cool. That looks so cool, actually, in this kind of um, twilight dye. Looks really cool. Hey, look at that. We leave a purple thing. But uh, if I show you guys here, you see that? We have yellow and green, which is really interesting. But yeah, that is his uh, special little look. You know what? We'll keep this look. I like this look, actually. Um... So, I guess we'll just put our summoner stuff here. Plus, we need uh, better summoner gear. That summoner gear is way too weak. Okay, now, I'm going to explain. I'm going to explain this, too. But, um, before I do, let me look. Let me tell you guys about everything else. I put that away. Um, I put this away. Now, the Clementator. I bought this from the Steampunker. And this pretty much creates new biomes with solution. This, I don't know if we'll use it, but I bought it just in case. I already showed you guys the flamethrower. And lastly is the Moonstone. I was so happy when I got this. Okay, again, this is another thing for the other server. A uh, when after we, because I was helping him kill all the mechanical bosses, and um, after a mechanical bosses happened, um, and after we killed a mimic boss and stuff like that, we uh had a um solar eclipse naturally spawn. It was crazy. So many more spawned because two people were on the server. So. A lot more stuff happened, and um, pretty much a moonstone dropped. And why is this important? Well, once we get to the golem, he drops the sunstone, and we could combine it with this and make the celestial moon shell or something like that. It's crazy, really good for what I saw on the uh, on the wiki. Uh, but that's pretty much all of this stuff. Now let me talk to you guys about the stuff that I found that's on me right now. Okay, number one. This, I got to Legendary, which was great. Number two, the Unreal Chlorified Shortbow. Guys, um, this thing is destruction. Okay, let me just, uh, show you guys. And by the way, I'm not using the Chlorified Arrows with this. I'm using this one, the Endless Quiver. So take a look, guys. Look at that. It's shooting three, two to three arrows. It does a absurd amount of damage. And it is, look at that. Now, I have something to make both of these weapons even more overpowered. 
A skeleton archer dropped in a cave. A magic quiver. Allow me to show you what this is. Increases damage by 10% and greatly increases arrow speed. And 20% chance to not consume arrows. Look at that. Look how fast that's firing. Look at this. That speed is crazy. And pretty much, I'm switching between that and the moon shell for now on. Uh, since I'm going to be mostly air. I will use magic, of course. But, um, mostly air. And summoning. I think it shot four arrows that time. I just noticed. Um, I, I even got some cursed darts. A new dart. Um, see, it actually drops it, which is really cool. It drops, like, cursed stuff. And let me switch back to crystal dart. Okay. Now, I already showed you that weapon, and let me, to make this go faster, I'll probably do some skips. Uh, another weapon I got, which was in the underworld, dropped from a red devil, which is a hard mode demon, kind of. And, um, it's kind of like the demon scythe, but a trident, and it fire. look at the damage, look at the damage, look at that, look at the damage, look at that damage, it's crazy. And it fires so fast. It's such a good weapon, though. It's such a good weapon. Um, again, another one I got was the Venom Staff. Now, how did I get the Venom Staff? I actually found a Poison Staff. I believe I showed this off the episode I showed you guys for the very first time, my Spider Armor. Because that's how you get this. Pretty much, you have to build... Uh, not build. You have to keep killing Black Recluses. Hope they drop the Poison Staff. If they drop it, you can get Chlorophyte and... Go to a mithril anvil and you get a venom staff. And um, I got chlorified arrows and pretty much that's, I believe that's everything. I believe that should be everything. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. Um, if I did a lot of skips, it's because I wanted to make sure it was very, very quick. And um, the last thing, um, let me just show you guys here. Okay, chlorified bars with the chlorified ore. I'm going to show you this. This is important. Okay. Now, why did I build my chlorified armor? Because now we're in the meat potatoes of the episode. Okay. So now, why did I build this armor real quick? Um, this is why. I realized something. We cannot create Shroomerite armor. They changed it. They changed how it always works. They changed it. Now we have to kill the Planetara to get Shroomerite hoverboards and all the really good stuff. So, yeah. It's not easy now. Um... So, what did I build? I built the Chlorified Drill, I built the Chlorified Chainsaw, the Chlorified Shortbow, which I already showed you, Chlorified Arrows, which do a crap ton of damage, and lastly, um, the armor. Now, I built the helmet for range damage, consume ammo, and um, regular defense with these, because there's no other plate mails or greaves. And together, we get the set bonus of a powerful leaf crystal shooting, as you can see right there. The little green thing shoots at nearby enemies. And, um, that's pretty much how this armor works for right now. Now, we need more of this to create Shroomerite. Now, Shroomerite, you need to create it with an auto hammer by the truffle. And let us go to the truffle real quick. As you can see, uh, the mushroom biome, yeah, I, I expanded it. It's huge. Look at this. Look at all this. Also, too, oh, yeah, okay, before I get to it, too, I also got max life, for those who do not notice, and I got an achievement for that, and I also got a second achievement for making this an above-ground, um, mushroom biome. So, let's go inside, talk to our mushroom guy here. Okay. So, yeah, wow, this is strong enough to de destroy demon altars, wow. Um, but, yeah, he, you see he sells the stuff, but he's not selling what we need to craft, uh, the bars, which is the auto hammer. So pretty much, we have to kill the planetary. They're just making it more and more impossible to get cool stuff until you kill that thing. And I've never killed it ever. So um, yes, this is going to be hard. Now, have I found planetary bulbs? Exploring, getting the chlorophyte. I in fact have. So uh, let's uh, let's do that. I'll do a little skip until we're into the jungle in the cave. Okay, guys, we have arrived. Okay, let me just put the torch there. Torch there. Okay. We're here. Also, you know this is one thing I don't think I ever explained? Um, why do I not use the mini shark anymore? Um, well, here's the big reason why, guys. Um, look at the damage. 
And now look at that. That's why. And not only that, when you fire crystal, they seek their enemy. They're heat seeking. They bounce up to five or six times. And uh, for the Planetara, when we just want to run and gun, it's going to be great for us. It's just going to be great. Because if I haven't told you guys, um, this weapon, it destroys mechanical bosses. The fact that it does, it's a pretty good... Ooh, wow, Tattered B-Wing. That's a rare drop. Um, but yeah, that's that's actually why I don't... I, I have stopped using it. They are very, very good. Oh, stop. Kill that guy. Okay. So... Why are we here in the jungle? What in the world am I planning? Well, guys, uh... Whew. We're gonna do something so ballsy that I'm probably gonna be mad at myself later. But, um... Guys... I don't know how the Planetara has changed. I don't know. So, what is the best way to know a boss has changed? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You guys, you're right. You think it on the right track. Oh, Mimic, cool. We are going to challenge him completely blind. Ooh, Philosopher's Stone, I already got one, though. Ooh, ah. We have full life fruit, by the way. I made sure to do certain things, guys, so that when we play, I don't have to worry about farming for stuff, because I want to make sure that the episodes aren't monotonous of me just trying to get more of the thing that you've already seen me get before. That's all. Um, that, like, uh, we won't probably have any more chlorophyte finding episodes, uh, because... You know, they're pretty easy to find now. Um, you know what? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me get ready. Boom. Lock myself in. And... Crap! Uh, we have to make a cubby. Oh, was that chlorophyte? Why is there another mimic? That's a lot of chlorophyte. Okay, well, let's just grab this chlorophyte. This is the biggest vein I've seen in a while. Let me just grab this. I'll do a little cut. Sorry, guys. Okay, we're here. I apologize, guys. I just had to get that. And um, also, too, let's... Okay, cool. That's on. Magic Clover's on. Good, good, good. Actually, you know what? Let's just switch to uh, Chlorified Arrows just to see how it works. Dang. Yeah, these arrows bounce off the walls, by the way, guys. Oh, God. Friggin' poison. So annoying. Look at the wreckage. Look at the wreckage. Oh, Lord. Lord. God. Oh, my God. There's so much crap spawning over there. Eh, eh. Oh, turtle shell, I guess. I guess I'll keep that. Cool. Go away, tattered B wings. We already have B wings. Okay. Okay, after all that craziness happened, let's get back to what we need to do. Okay. Ah. Uh, stop spawning. Stop spawning. Uh, ooh, did it drop? Okay, never mind. Let me put that there. Hold on one second, guys. Let me let me just take care of these guys, and I'll talk about what I want to do. There you go. Okay, good. Okay, so this is what we need to do. We need to find a player terror bubble. I have found multiple um, that have been down here. Not that much, though. I found a few, but not that much. And um, the thing is, is why I need to go my maps, because I need to see them. I think this might be the safest place to do it. Um, let me just put that there. Put myself here. Okay, I think it'll be good. Okay, so let's search it on minimap real quick. Or, I guess, mega map. Where in the world is a planetary bulb? Because I found quite a few. They're pink, just to let you guys know. They are pink. And, um... When you see them, they drastically do stand out. But, I'm just trying to... See, that's the mushroom bomb we were at. Smith roll. Um... Dang it. I completely... That's lava, I think. Man, this is gonna be tough. I think... Hmm. Actually, wait, is that... Pl Planetaris bulb! See you guys? There we go. After much fighting. So, where are we relative to that area? 
pretty much there. Right next to life root. Huh. So it's right over. Thank you. See, this thing is protecting us. Thank you. Okay, so we're here, guys. We're here. And, um, it's there. Oh, dang. That's a far. Okay. Let's do a cut. And, uh, we will, uh, go down there. Let's do a little good cut. Oh! Hey, guys! I found a closer planetary bulb to the right of us, and this is a very open cave, so... Uh, that's another plus. Um, so I want everyone to realize that there's a good chance I will rage, and I will be, uh... Screaming when I get close to death, so... Y you guys already know how I work. Um, yeah. Because I'm gonna panic. Oh my god. G guys, you don't know my history with this guy. And again, if I can't kill this, I swear, if I cannot kill this boss on my own, I'm going to have health. Oh my Uzi! Oh my. You don't know how long I've been waiting for that crap to drop. Thank you. See, maybe th this is a sign. Guys, who thinks this is a sign? For our feet in the water here. What should I use? Is this better or this better? This better or this better? I'm gonna stick with this. Okay. Lord! Lord! There he is! Oh, Lord! Oh, Lord! Oh, Lord! Oh, Lord! Oh, God, guys! I don't like this already! Oh, God. Gotta get out the water. 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 Okay. I have never lasted this long against the planet Terra. Can I please make that known? Can I make that known? I always died instantly. Oh, oh. Maybe because of all the new weapons and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, wait. Are we doing good? Oh, God. My health. 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 My lord. My health. My lord. My health. My health. Oh, God. It's firing stuff so quick. What the? I'm not intimidated. I'm not intimidated. I can't, can't. The net, the planetara never used to be that much of a pushover. Wait, wait, wait. Was I scared over nothing? Was it? I almost got him at the second stage. I, I never thought I'd say this. We can kill it. Can I please make it known he never used to be like that? He never- Oh my, okay. Okay. And you know what, too? I probably should have switched to the Venom. To poison him. Okay. I think we could do this. I think we can do this. But we need potions to do this. We need potions. You know what? I think I'm gonna actually break the episode. I feel like I should break this episode in half. Not in half, but... This is what I think, guys. I think... Hmm, I think I could I feel like I can do this episode. I might be able to Hmm What I'm saying is that I might be able to get some potions really quickly Like just break the recording right here And then we go back down one more time and just kill him for once and for all or it, we could have an episode where I kill him and We do all the stuff that we need to do after him because I do know one big thing that we, we need to do after him and that, and I'm not saying it's true, right? Not that. That's not the only thing. There's one huge thing that we gotta do. Uh, you know what? I feel confident, guys. I feel confident. I think we can kill him. We can kill him. I never thought I'd say that, but I think we can kill him. I'm, I'm telling you guys, he used to be harder. He used to be way harder than that. Way harder. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm gonna break the episode here, because the next episode, we're definitely gonna kill him. We're definitely gonna kill him. We already got him close to half heart, and that's no potions, guys. That's no potions, so. Um, I think we get a big area to fight him in. And let me point out, too, he used to be extremely fast. So fast, you couldn't keep up with him. Like, if you guys just see 1.2 Planetara fighting, you'll see what I'm talking about. They changed him. They changed him. But I'll see you guys next episode. Don't forget to be a hero, and I'll see you guys next week. Uh, where... We will be fighting Planetara and finally winning because he drops crazy good loot. See you guys.
Thank you.